How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly. My name is Dapo Willis, your favorite, favorite Forex trader on YouTube. The only guy who comes to show you guys how to do things properly. Now, if you're just joining me for the first time, this is a segment of my YouTube channel called Trader Talk, where I come to share with you guys what is popping in the market, the best trading opportunities. I come to show you guys how to use your technical tools, very simple technical tools, how to bring them together to make the best trading decision possible. Now guys, I did drop some, um, I did make some trade calls last week and I wanted to come on this week to obviously follow up, just have a look at the charts to see what is happening. Some trades have been able to make a significant amount of profit. Some trades made profit and have now pulled back into break even area. So this is around the area where a lot of traders tend to get confused. What do I do? I've placed my trade, it made me some money, but now it's pulled back into my entry. What do I do? It's a state of confusion. Do I pull out? Obviously not pull out, pull out, pull out, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Not pull out in the bedroom, I'm talking about pull out in the charts, get your day in my out there. Anyway, so, do I close my trades? What do I do? And what tends to happen is traders often make the wrong decision. So I want to come here because I've made a promise to you guys that regardless of whatever the market is doing, I will be on here to hold your hand and show you guys how to do things properly. So I'm going to be jumping into my charts. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the trades that I've placed, uh, what exactly is happen and happening and what to expect. Okay, because at the end of the day, we're here to make money. Confusion is the biggest thief of your capital. Because a lot of traders look at the chart like, what do I do next? Guys, let us allow the top-down analysis guide us. Now, before I jump into my charts, I just wanted to say a quick shout out to the Forex Mastery students. Now, guys, you have to understand that the, the, the Forex Mastery course, which obviously has the top-down analysis, I believe is one by far one of the best programs out there. You want to know why? Because during times of confusion, I noticed that the Forex Forex Mastery students are the only people on the internet not panicking. They know exactly what the market is going to do next. And I'm very proud of them because not only have they taken the Forex Mastery course, they've also consumed all the videos on my YouTube channel. So when anything is happening, they're relaxed. They're relaxed like me. They know as long as the market has put in lower lows and lower highs and the Fibonacci is pointing downwards, we have nothing to worry about. Pullbacks are simply part of the game. Now, if you want to join the family, the Forex Mastery family, which I see no reason why you shouldn't join it so that obviously you can make a lot more money, the link to the course is going to be in the description as always or around here somewhere. Ensure to grab it. It is literally inexpensive and yeah, it will most likely change your life. Also, before I jump into my charts, have you guys noticed a certain glow about me? This glow is called peace of mind. This glow is knowing who the hell you are. In life, it is very important for you to know when you have won, okay? And this gentleman speaking to you right here, um, by the special grace of God, God has ordained me a winner in life. And it wasn't until I turned 30, for you guys who do not know, I just turned 30 on the 20th of April, I realized that, yo, because I was just, on my 30th birthday, I didn't do a party, nothing, I just chilled. I used that day to reflect on how far I have come. The thing about me is I never really know how much I've accomplished until something major almost literally pushes me off the edge, right? Until something almost, you know, drives me crazy. And being able to come out of a lot of challenges that I've had in the last six, seven months, I mean, turning 30, I, I used that day to actually reflect on a lot of things. I'm like, yo... I have actually accomplished a lot and I've actually won. So that's something I want you guys to be able to, 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 to experience for yourselves, yeah? Forex mastery students, your ability to be able to be calm and consistently extract profits from the market is a win. You've won because a lot of people cannot do that, okay? Being able to be at peace with the market, the ultimate win in life is knowing who you are and being at peace being at peace with yourself, knowing fully well that you have won. So that's the message today, guys. Be at peace with yourself because you have won. As a Forex Mastery student, you are a winner. If you know and believe you're a winner, type winner down below in the comment section. I am a winner, I wanna see, type it right there. If you're a Forex Mastery student today, guys, you are a winner. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the program already, link in the description. Now let's jump into the video. Let's look at these bloody pairs that keep pulling back. Let's break it down, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, my people, are you ready, ready, ready? <laughs> That's a bit loud. Welcome inside my screen, guys. Welcome uh, to my charts. 
like I said at the beginning of this video, we have some pairs that have just been pulling back for no reason. And I would like for us to use the top-down analysis for us to break it down and try and understand what exactly is going on. Like I keep telling you guys, the top-down analysis is the most realistic approach to Forex. As far as I'm concerned, it is the most uh, reliable way to consistently extract profits from the market. Now, there's some trade calls that I called last week. They have been pulling back. And that's exactly what I want to speak about and what I, what I want to address. I'm not those traders who give signals or analysis and then just leave you guys when things go wrong. I'm here um, to trade with you guys. And like I said in my other video, I am back and I am back for good. Okay. Now, guys, the first thing I want to go over is AUDUSD, what has been happening a lot. I know a lot of people are short this game. Let's take a deep dive as to what is happening. First of all, the market is still very bearish. Um, but what exactly is happening is we've had some rejections from this point. Guys, should I be very honest with you? Anyways, sorry, sorry, sorry. My usual tradition, before I jump into the nitty gritties of the video, you gotta subscribe to the channel. Smash the subscribe button right there so that this channel can grow and flourish so that we can expand our viewer base and impact all the Forex traders with this amazing piece of information. Now, you got five seconds to subscribe. Five, four, three. You want to subscribe? You want to take anything out of it, guys? Um, let's 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 start with AUD USD. Let's see what go on with AUD USD, right? The gospel truth is, the forex market is just in a nasty range, and I've been saying this for the longest time. But people just feel like I don't want to come out here um, and just give you guys trade opportunities. People think that I don't want to help you guys trade and stuff like. That. But the gospel truth is. How can I give you guys trades that I know fully well will not satisfy your itch? Meaning that why would I come on here and give trade calls knowing fully well that the pip count is not going to be that much? The thing is, when you're in a range, you know, you make money today, you lose some money tomorrow. You make money today, you lose some more money tomorrow. And the problem, even the winning trades don't even last that long because before you know what's happening, the market is rebounding. This is what happens in a range and it's usually very nasty. I'll give you an example. We decided to short AUDUSD here. We expected it to come all the way down here. Why are we getting here and pulling back? This is one of the very annoying characteristics of a range. And, but unfortunately, that's just the situation we found ourselves in. So the very first thing as a Forex trader that is on the Forex Mastery Program and understands top-down analysis is you need to first of all identify what kind of market condition is this. Is this a trending game or a ranging game? If it's a ranging game, don't expect too many pips from the market. Whatever the market gives you, you have to take you have to take and you need to put it in your pocket fast you see this short trade to the downside i remember telling everybody um that i was taking out 20 percent of my profit somewhere around here okay i did that and as you can see before we knew what's happening the market started to pull all the way back up i'm still in this trade by the way but i've been able to take something and keep something um people were saying oh but your entry and your first level target area is not that wide the pip count is not that much uh, i don't really like your strategy guys it's not about whether you like my strategy or not it's about how much money you're making from this market and how much you're conserving okay i would rather take something small and be sure about what i've taken and keep it in my bank account than hope for something that might not even pan out and that's exactly what's happened to AUD USD. So let's break AUD USD down one more time to see what exactly is happening, right? So AUD, uh, um, AUD USD is currently fighting this minor zone about here, okay? If you come on the weekly time frame, you'll be able to understand what exactly what, what exactly is happening a lot better. So if I delete this, okay? Now we're currently trading below this yellow bar. Um, um, provided we stay below this yellow bar, I see no reason why we should roll over to the green zone that right about here. But um, the hold on, let me just draw a quick trend line just to show you guys a little, a little, a little, a little sound, a little, little sound. So right now we're trading. We we try to break the trend line, and we we're now trading below it. And then we've tested it again now it's testing it again so the market is currently hogging this trend line the market is pointing to the downside i see no reason why we shouldn't roll over to the downside sometimes the market just wants to come and fulfill some technical levels we've put in a low lower high this is putting a lower low this is going as provided we put in a lower high here i see no reason why we shouldn't have a massive sell off all the way to the downside probably um by thursday friday we should start seeing some red candles um and 
could see this market start dropping all the way to the downside. There's no, there's really no reason to panic for AUD USD. I'm very confident in this bearish move because literally this is a break. This is a breakout retest, and we should have a continuation to the downside. So AUD USD, I'm still very much bearish. And once I see a red candle about here, I'll be adding to my position, and then we're gonna we can go we, we can easily start selling. But that just goes takes me back to my uh, earlier point, which is guys when the market is ranging you tend to have all these nasty snapbacks okay as opposed to when it's trending it's, so, it's a lot easier and this is why i always preach you know it's better to trade trending markets look for pairs that are trending most of the time and try as much as possible to reduce your risk whenever it is you sense the market is ranging this is the only way for you to first of all preserve your capital and most importantly obviously grow it as well um so that you don't run into issues most traders are only trained to trade uh, trending markets and then when it comes to the range they obviously have issues um so the AUD US is not an issue i expect a sell off around this yellow bar so i'm just going to be watching it pretty nicely i see no reason why we shouldn't sell off i think part of the reason why we're having this retracement is this fibonacci uh, play happen here so if i do my x to a which should be somewhere around here so a b c d came and completed somewhere around here so obviously we're having this profit taken and what have you not it's a bit it's a, it's a bit tacky i don't really like to trade markets like this that just look a bit tacky but it is what it is at the end of the day a man must eat we gotta eat so provided we stay below this yellow bar i'll be looking for further selling opportunities but if we break above here i'll be definitely closing out my tree so Fear not, I'm with you guys on this trade, AUD, USD, I'm still very bearish. Let's go over to Euro Dollar, which looks a bit better than AUD, USD. So I'm going to quickly explain what's happening to the Euro Dollar as well. So Euro Dollar, very similar situation to AUD, USD. We've been in this nasty range. You see, most mentors, most people who show you guys about Forex don't really show you. They don't expand the charts to actually show you guys what's going on. This guy has been in the range for a year. So if for any reason you spend the last year unprofitable or struggling, it's actually not your fault. You're just trading market conditions that are just very difficult to trade. It's just like an inexperienced pilot flying in a very turbulent cloud. This 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 look like very turbulent clouds if you ask me. It's quite challenging to navigate through this because today you're up, next morning you're down, you're up. You think you're coming down, next you start going up, and then before you know, you think you're going up, you start coming down. Then you go up again, and you come all the way down. You go up. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! A lot. It's enough to drive anybody freaking crazy. So you know, at the end of the day, this is where accounts go to die. Proper accounts, they die for here. Finish off. Um, but the, the only reason why i decided to become interested in euro dollar is because i saw, spotted something very important now within this range i have spotted a head left two left shoulders and two right and this right shoulder meaning that this market is forming what i like to call a head and shoulder pattern now within this head and shoulder pattern i also looked at the right shoulder of this big head and shoulder pattern and this right shoulder is in itself forming a head and shoulder pattern so i decided to zoom in to see what exactly is happening with this right head and shoulder pattern and potentially look for a trading opportunity and i saw left shoulder head right shoulder we break on oh, pardon me we've broken not break that's what's happening to your english so what happens when i stay in nigeria for too long <laughs> we've broken the, the, the neckline i'm joking we've broken the neckline and um We've broken this neckline and as you can see we've broken to the downside and we're currently retesting the bottom of this neckline to me this is a very very straightforward situation uh, my overall target for a uh, euro dollar is all the way at this blue bar somewhere here if i just delete this so we have all this room to the downside and to be honest i'm quite happy about this pullback because it's going to give me uh selling opportunities the euro the, the euro usd was one pair that i was unable to jump on um at the time but I'm just going to simply put my counter trend on like so don't put it too close to the market because this guy could easily fake out and blow all the way to the upside and the last thing you want to do is be in a premature trade so I'm going to be watching the euro very closely and um, the, the one way to be able to identify uh, if the market is ripe to start falling or if the consolidation is over is always look at the previous consolidation which was this one this was a previous pullback um, and 
try and count the amount of candles okay this pullback looks very similar to this one so i don't think we'll be going in for this kind of pullback you can see this is a big pullback this is relatively a small pullback so i believe uh this yellow bar should hold um, but in the event that doesn't happen we might obviously rally into here which is very unlikely i don't think that's going to happen i don't think the euro has enough uh, buying power left in it so these are the two zones i'll be looking out for for selling opportunities i would need to see a proper confirmation on the daily time frame with a bearish engulfing candle i need to see the market come in here and reject here very well and then i'll be looking for what selling opportunities um however i spotted something which is quite interesting um so this is this is more like a trend line about here so we might probably coast okay we might probably coast towards this trend line for a bit to see what exactly is happening and then we can obviously drop to the downside but for now i'm just going to be monitoring the euro dollar very very carefully it's a pair that i'm interested in i'll be watching as you can see i'm just using the uh, my counter trend line very 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 um carefully right there just to guide the bottom of this because i don't want it to be too close so i'm going to be watching this pair very carefully um i'll be looking for selling opportunities once we test here properly and i see a proper break i'll be jumping on the sell so the euro dollar very simple very straightforward lining up for a decent if i do the peep count 1.072 all the way down to 1.05 so a nice 200 pip drop if you're trading 10 lots on that that should be a quick 200,000 US dollars for you um, or more uh, depending on your broker okay so um, yeah euro dollar easy 200k to be made there uh, AUD USD I'll be watching this carefully as well um, don't mind this pair just wanted to just come and just distract everybody but I can almost guarantee you this guy push it down um, so that's euro dollar uh, I haven't really looked at GBP USD in a long time so let me just look at GBP US dollar mm, I think a similar situation is happening to GBP USD aha GBP USD is pulling back into the neckline a region but guys this uh, this range was easily broken out of hold on um, put this here uh, GBP USD could easily be trying to pull back into supply zone, which is somewhere around here. But you've already given up. The, the, this pair has given up already. The, the blue zone is next. For this bad boy, I see no reason why we shouldn't drop to the blue zone. All of this, uh, and obviously there was some demand stuff going on here. But it is what it is. Um, I see no reason why GBP USD shouldn't drop here. So expect some pullback. I'm actually liking these pullbacks I'm seeing. Um, if you know how to to trade pullbacks properly actually let me actually highlight this properly and try and see if i can potentially find a proper pullout region okay i'm gonna use my yellow bar for this um so if i just join these bottom points properly into a potential supply zone which is here so this is for gbps it is looking like a potential supply zone um let me just make sure this isn't isn't interfering with anything from the bottom so yeah if bottom is clear um this is a clear breakout of this trend line um i see no reason why we shouldn't drop all the way to the downside so i'm going to be watching this bad boy very carefully um this is looking like a supply zone and this is also looking like a supply zone somewhere inside here so even if we take this out um i see that i foresee this one pushing it all the way back down and if i draw my trend lines like so Aha, uh -huh. so this is looking pretty decent if I also use my Fibonacci. So what we have on GBP USD here is quite juicy. This is looking like a Willis zone setup. Let me just clear everything out. GBP USD, as long as I'm going to be watching GBP USD, I need to see start seeing some sell off somewhere around here. Um, and then obviously, once we can take, uh, once this market breaks, once this market gets, sorry guys. Listen, I'm going to take this again. I don't want to confuse you guys. Let me zoom this out properly. So zoom, 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 zoom. So this is trend line looking nicely. Um, I need to see a sell off here. I need to see some red four hour candles, some bearish engulfing candles come down here. Let me delete this. Let me delete this. Let me just keep this here. Okay. Simple. 
let's keep it simple stupid simple here in this blue this yellow bar i need to see some sell-off i need to see red candles once i see red candles we're gonna drop off a cliff that's what i'm trying to say it's as simple as that there's confluence read this trend line here this guy's supply zone we also have minor resistance there as well so i'll be looking for this however we can just blow the way to the upside which i mean you can never put anything past this market market can be a bit crazy sometimes okay the market can be a bit crazy sometimes i'm just trying to look at the bigger picture perspective um yeah i see no reason why we should drop let me look at the monthly time frame monthly time frame is saying what what are you saying you want to come down and test it i know what you did for the euro that time we don't trust you anymore it's just it'll come down so um let's go back to gbpusd so let's finalize on gbpusd and actually i need to add that to my watch list i need to add that to my watch list um i need to add that to my watch list gbpusd um so yeah hold on give me a sec i see this on the daily so gbpusd i'll be expecting um massive sell-off around this region because this thing is hanging for dear life there's nothing i see no reason why this guy should blow the way to the upside there's no reason this is looking very bearish to me if you ask me so i'm just going to be monitoring gbp usd pretty closely um this is going to be one of my favorite uh, pairs but i need to add gbp usd to my watch list how do i do how do you add gbp usd to your watch list again if i can remember closely I still know how to do that. Um, give me a sec. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, guys, I moved the screen around. Anyways, so yeah, that's GBP USD, AD USD, Euro USD. Let's focus on these ones for now. I'll touch SP 500, Bitcoin, and oil later on. Um, but let's focus on these majors for now so that we're not trying to track too many things at the same time. One of the issues a lot of traders have is. Too many traders, too many uh, pairs on their watch list. You got too many pairs on your watch list, you might just run into issues. So these are the pairs that I'm currently stalking at the moment. I'm, I'm already shot AUD USD. I'm hoping it continues to drop. Um, Euro USD is lining up pretty nicely. Um, I'll be looking for a counter trend line drop as well, and then GBP US. So these three trades, I'm looking for potential selling opportunities. Hopefully they pan out the way we want them to pan out. Nothing too serious. You don't need to complicate your charts. I hate complicated charts. It is simple as ABC. Just join the point at the bottom properly together. Um, and yeah, and if we blow past this, we blow past it to the upside. Nothing to worry about. Guys, always two, two case scenarios, okay? Either we roll over to the downside or we just, psh, whichever way it happens, we will make money. So don't worry. Don't be, don't be too scared. Okay, don't 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 stress yourself too much. Let's see what the market has to offer. Okay, the market has something good to offer. It will let us know. If it doesn't have anything too good to offer, it will also let us know. So, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, um, I wanted to address these pullbacks. The pullbacks are good. They are to our own benefit. Um, don't be scared. The pullbacks are simply here to give us trading opportunities. And once again, do not be terrified. I think gold might be gold is one pair that just rallied and just stayed here. <laughs> gold is a mad bad, I'm telling you, man. After the breakouts, I told you guys. Next level, guys, you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Gold next level target is two thousand five hundred dollars per ounce. How do I know this? Is simple, just calculate the range and add it to the top. Um, yeah, the range is simple. This this is actually the range. This is the gold range. This is the gold range. So if you just add it to the top, add it to the top like so, you have your next level target for gold. So that's simple. So all I need to do for gold is just wait for it. To, so gold is sleeping right now because after this massive erection, <laughs> after this massive erection, obviously you just go to bed around here. But not to worry, once the market starts to relax a bit, it will definitely populate some more candles for us to be able to have a very decent entry and then push it all the way further to the upside gold is not done yet trust me trust me daddy 
Trust me that day, Golden done. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I wanted to tell you guys I have another video coming out this Saturday. It is titled How I Became a Forex Billionaire at the age of 30. Ensure to watch out for that. It is very, very important. You're gonna love it. Um, you stand a lot of the you stand to learn a lot of things from that video. Yeah. Um obviously it's taking me about 13 years to arrive at where I am, but I believe if you watch that video, you can compress 13 years worth of mistakes and, and successes and mistakes and failures and uh, successes and failures and mistakes and, and, and wins. You can learn from my entire story and then you can compress what I've done in 13 years into two years. Imagine becoming a forex billionaire in two and a half two to two and a half years. Wouldn't that be happy? I want your parents be happy with you. I'm sure they will be. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Um, it was amazing spending time with you. Um, I'm going to go hang out with my friends now. I just wanted to quickly put this video together and tell you guys, give you guys a vote of confidence. Pullbacks are good. Pullbacks are here to help us make some money. Pullbacks also give us some clarity as well. Once again, guys, I'll catch you on my other screen. Catch you later. Peace out. Thank you, thank you, beautiful people, for staying to the very end of this video. As you can see, the market is acting a bit mad. But like I keep saying to you guys, as a forex master student, all you need to do is relax, chill, allow the market breathe. You need to fulfill some technical levels. It will make you your money. The patient trader always what makes the most amount of money. Once again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, smash the subscribe button right there. If you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, the link is going to be in the description as always. And I'll catch you guys on my video coming out this Saturday. Take it easy, guys. Love you very much and peace out.